What's up my little flowers? Welcome back to hell. And welcome back after almost two months without a video from me. And the first video that you get back is a channel update. I know that that sucks. I also already knew that no matter what I posted after two months, I was probably going to lose subscribers. But that's okay because I wanted to post something to explain everything that had been happening. I'm gonna keep everything short because I know that this is real boring for most of you, but there are some important announcements in here, so that's pretty cool. Also, please forgive the crappy art editing in the background. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, so be lenient on me, please. I'm an English major, not an art major, even though an English degree is technically an arts degree, but let's not talk about it too much or else we'll hear the screaming and crying of my family members in the background over the fact that their child is getting an arts degree. Also, up front, know that I will be posting another video soon, which we will talk about a little bit later, so it's not like I'm just posting this and then dipping again, or that's my plan, at least. So, some of you already know why I haven't been posting, but some of you might not, so I'll very briefly explain it. We don't have to get too personal or depressing up in here. If you look at my community tab, then you would have seen the announcement I made about a month and a half ago telling you all that I would be taking a break from YouTube, and that I didn't know exactly how long that break would be. There was a myriad of reasons for why I was taking that break. Things just kept building up on me, but the overall main reason was the most obvious one, which was mental health. My mental health was already deteriorating, and it had been for a while, if I'm being honest, but I had just thrown everything into this channel, so I hadn't really allowed myself to notice. I shut everyone and everything out of my life so I could focus on making videos and focus on my degree, and that was it. And I was on my channel preaching about how I was doing so much better than I had been a year ago, and about how you could too, and how happy I was about everything and how I loved my life when, in all honesty, looking back to just a few months ago, I hated it. Not the channel or making videos for you guys, but everything else about my life. I genuinely hated a lot of my life and I had a lot of unresolved trauma and honestly speaking, as I always try to do, I still have that. But I was ignoring everything by just focusing on making videos. It was easy to ignore my life, or even ignore myself, when I was making this stuff, until I made my most recent video, the LGBTQ plus video essay. The video had been one that you guys had been looking forward to for a while, and it was an essay style video, so I knew that it was going to get a few more views than a normal video on my channel would, but I couldn't begin to imagine how that video was going to blow up. I figured it would get about 1,000 or 2,000 views max because at the time, I had either just hit 1,000 subscribers or I was just about to, and my other video essays usually got those kind of numbers. And 1,000 views is good. I would have been happy with that. But when the video was posted, I think it got that in less than 24 hours, and I immediately knew that it was not going to be a normal video. I still held on to the hope that it would level out and be a normal view count, but then I think it got picked up by the YouTube algorithm, and there was just no controlling it after that. Now, it might sound weird, because a lot of people want a video of theirs to get picked up and blow up in views, but I don't know. I was grateful and happy, don't get me wrong, but I was also very, very scared. The video received a lot of love, I will say that. The video response was in the large majority positive. Almost everyone who came across the video liked it, and even those who might have disagreed with parts of it still thanked me for making it, which absolutely warmed my heart. However, I can't explain to you how terrifying it is to wake up to hundreds of comments and subscribers overnight. And again, I want to thank and welcome everyone who did find the channel because of that video, which is a lot of you. I'm glad that you're here, and I thank you for liking the channel and for liking me. I also want to say that I realize how privileged it sounds to complain about, oh no, my video is just too popular, oh, woe is me, and, and that's not my intention with what I'm saying. I'm saying that I went from a thousand subscribers to like five or six thousand in the span of a week, and that was terrible terrifying. And now we're at like 11,000? Like what? My goal for the year, for the year, was 100 subscribers. Just 100. And we hit 11,000. And it's only September. 
So it shocked me to the core, and I felt a sudden pressure of people that were waiting for the next big video, just like that one, and I didn't think that I could do that. That was the first big hit to my mental health, and then came the hate comments, which just sucked. I mean, I can't explain those. As I said in my original community post, I always knew that I would get hate comments. I mean, literally every YouTube creator does. Literally every single one, even the most unproblematic ones on the platform. However, usually those will come in slowly and over time, so you can get used to those. Mine, however, were sudden and all at once, which nothing could have prepared me for. I want to say that I think it's fine to disagree with me, but calling me names, threatening me, or threatening my subscribers, telling me that I'm going to hell for supporting the gay community, I think that's all just a little bit weird and kind of far and out of line. And then it got even worse because YouTube started pushing my video even more, I believe, and it somehow ended up being recommended to what I would guess is the wrong side of YouTube, because then we had the white supremacist and right-wing edgelords came just completely out of the woodwork, which sent me over the edge. I had comments defending the dumbest stuff, and I had a few Trump supporters in my comments, and I had a couple of people throwing the n-word and the f-slur around, and I ended up somehow having commenters who were anti-Semitic in my comment section being homophobic, and if they would have known that I'm Jewish, which I have never mentioned on the channel, with the exception of like maybe a few comments answering, like replying to people's comments here and there, but like I've never stated it in a video until now, but they had no way of knowing that. But if they did, I could only imagine the stuff that they would have said to me, which genuinely scared me, like was genuinely terrifying. I knew they were anti-Semitic, by the way, because I would go to their YouTube channel and I would see their videos or their playlist of videos that they liked from other channels, and it was very clear to me that we had some Holocaust deniers on our hands here, and I found myself asking, how did we get here? And I was like, I just wanted to make a video about the LGBTQ plus community in K-pop. How are we here? What happened? What am I looking at? And I was so overwhelmed by everything and now I just fear ever having a video blow up ever again. Like I genuinely don't want it to happen because it's just so scary. I deleted the majority of those comments because there is just no arguing with those people. So they should all be gone for the most part, but it was so scary and just annoying and draining on my mental health and was honestly the biggest mess that I've ever seen. There were only a few comments like that, by the way. It wasn't like a thousand. I don't want to make it seem like there's a thousand or even a hundred, by the way, but even 25 or 30 of those are mentally taxing enough to deal with. I also received my first ever death threat through DMs, so that was fun. Loved that. Great time. I have to joke about it. If it seems like I'm like talking about it in a joking manner, and so that seems weird to some of you, I'm the type of person that has to joke about that kind of stuff, or else I will just cry. Because I did cry about it when it initially happened, and when I initially typed the post talking about it, I didn't go into detail about it, but I have to joke about it or else I will just break into tears because it's so terrifying to me. Uh, so after all of that, I just just decided, screw it, I am taking a break from YouTube. It no longer made me happy. If anything, it was making me incredibly angry and more depressed than I had ever been. I was reaching a pretty dark place that I hadn't been in honestly since my assault, so I knew that I was entering very dangerous territory. Not to mention I had behind the scenes stuff happening with some friends and family that was upsetting me, so I just left. I felt really bad leaving just as so many people were subscribing. Most people, I think, would be taking advantage of the opportunity and be posting as much as possible. And here I was just leaving you all to go get the milk from the store. But I knew that I needed the break and so I took it. Also, I want to add that I want to make it very clear there seems to still be some confusion. Not a lot, but there's enough that I feel like I should comment on it. In the comment section, one of the hate comments, and I use the word hate 
lightly because I don't know if it was hate or just confusion, but there were some people that seemed to be confused over whether or not I was making money off of the video, even though in my pinned comment, I made it very clear that I was not making money off of the video. I made it very clear that I didn't want to make money off the video, period. If it was up to me, I would have completely demonetized the video, but because I got a copyright claim on the video, the rights to monetization were completely out of my hands. So if you were getting ads on the video, they were not placed there by me, they were placed there by YG Entertainment. So all money made from that video was going towards YG Entertainment. I could show you the screenshots of the revenue from that video. I made zero dollars off that video. To date, I have made zero dollars off of that video. That video is my most viewed video and I don't know how much money I would have made off that video because I'm not good at math. I'm an English major, not a math major, and I'm too lazy to calculate it, but I can guarantee you that it would have been a decent chunk of money, but I didn't make any of it. I made literally zero dollars and zero pennies off of that video, and that's fine with me, but there were ads being run on the video because it was claimed by YG Entertainment, so I believe that whoever claims the video gets the money from the video if I understand how the YouTube ad system works. I somehow am allowed to be a YouTube partner and I still don't even know how the ad system works. <laughs> I literally have no idea how it works. But anyway, when I originally posted the video as I established in this video already, I didn't think that it was going to get over a thousand views, period. So I didn't think that it was going to make any money because newsflash, if you didn't know this, a thousand views is, is a lot or at least it is to me. But a thousand views is not shit when it comes to YouTube money. It doesn't make you hardly any money when it comes to YouTube coin. So I was like, well, I'm just going to demonetize the video. That was my original plan when I was editing it. I was like, well, I'm just going to demonetize the video because as I stated in my pinned comment, oh, I don't want to profit off of something that, or seem like I'm trying to profit off of something that I'm actively criticizing others for profiting off of. Like I, you can go and read the pinned comment of what I said exactly and you'll understand what I'm trying to say here. However, the video got copyright claimed and actually copyright blocked in South Korea. Like, people in South Korea can't watch the video. It is copyright claimed by YG Entertainment for using, like, 10 seconds, 15 seconds of a Blackpink clip, I think. There were ads being run on the video that I did not place there, and so YG Entertainment was getting all the money off of that video, I believe. And so there people were confused by that, I think, which is why I clarif clarified it in the pinned comment, why if you're seeing ads, that's why, because that's how the ad system works, I believe. I don't understand the ad system, I swear, but that's how I think it works. However, I started to get irritated the more, the more views that the video got, the more irritated I got with myself, not with anyone else, but just with myself, because yes, I wanted to initially demonetize the video and not have it make any money, but that's when I thought that it wasn't going to make money. But when it started to rack up so many views and it was going to make money, I started to get angry that all this money was going somewhere else. And not because I wanted the money to go to me and go into my wallet. I never wanted the money to go into my wallet. I wanted, if the video was going to make money, I wanted to take that money and donate it to a charity that actually profited for LGBTQ plus youth. That was something that I had actually considered. Uh, it was something that was suggested to me later in the comments underneath the pinned comment, but it was something that I had actually considered before I posted the video. However, I didn't think that the video was going to get over a thousand views, so I didn't think that it was going to make over five cents, so I was like, well, five cents isn't worth donating. I can just donate the nickel myself. So I won't monetize the video and then it got copyright claim. So I was like, well, screw it. I'll just post it with the copyright claim and YG can just make the five cents. And then you guys just blew up the video and then it just started making coin. And now I don't know how much money YG has made off that video that I could have donated to like a charity foundation for LGBT Q plus youth. And that would have been a cool thing to do. But now I'm mad at myself for not fixing that. And it's completely my fault but I feel really bad. Um, I think it could have been a cool thing to do, and I would like to add that in here to say that I'm sorry for not going back and fixing that darn copyright claim because I could have taken all the money that we got from that video and donated it. Either way, I think for Pride Month, of 2022, uh, June of 2022, we can do some cool charity fundraising thing. And maybe you guys will get as hype about that as you did this video, okay? Just just remember the energy you had for this video, for that video essay. Keep it, bottle it, 
and then take it and and put it towards the charity thing that we do then uh because i i've i have always wanted to do like a charity live stream for something like that so maybe we can do like a live stream or something and then i would also like to do something like that for blm and then i've also always wanted to do something like that for sexual assault survivors we'll do something i promise so how am i now and what's happening on the channel in the future I guess is the main question. Well, I'm not gonna come on here and say, I'm cured. A magic wizard waved his wand and I'm magically cured now and my mental health is A plus again because it's just not. But if we waited until it was A plus, I'd be 50 when we started posting again. And honestly speaking, making these videos makes me happy and I've missed a lot of parts of it. I went to the doctor and was placed on some sick ass seizure anticonvulsant medication, which I've now been taking for a month. So my physical health in that regard is doing really well. Although the side effects for that medication were literally depression, weight loss, and suicidal ideation. And I was sitting there in the doctor's office after telling my doctor that I had a history with an eating disorder and attempted suicide, just staring at her like, what kind of crack are you smoking, lady? Why are you giving me this? But she said that the pros outweighed the risk, so I don't know. I mean, I've definitely lost some weight, but like I've only felt the mental side effects from the medicine once, which was kind of a scary experience, but overall it is, in my opinion, doing more good than harm physically. So in fact, if anything, I think it seems to have calmed me down a lot and helped me manage my emotions, which honestly speaking used to be all over the place. I think I have some weird undiagnosed uh, emotional disorder. If, if we're being honest here, I probably have that. I, I've also been focusing on me and what makes me happy, but in all honesty, I have been so busy with college that I really haven't had time for the whole self-love thing. This year, college has taken me and beaten me to the floor with my schedule. I literally have no time for anything, which brings me around to the future of this channel. I don't want to restrict myself to a set schedule or say that I'm going to post on a certain day every week because with my current schedule, I just can't promise that. However, I do have a few videos planned that I'm currently working on. So my current plan for the channel is that instead of doing a bunch of super long videos that I was doing before, I'm going to do a few shorter videos, like 15 minutes, while I work on my longer style videos in the background. What I mean is, for example, my upcoming videos. I plan on making a video about ATEEZ's recent comeback because I was a huge fan of it and I have some things to say about it, but it'll probably only be a 15 minute long video. Then I want to make a video on Girls Planet episode 1, maybe episode 2, which would be a little bit longer of a video, maybe 25-30 minutes. And while I'm working on those and posting those, I want to work on my bigger projects, which are the History of YG Entertainment video and the Sexualization of Minors video. I started on the YG video already, and trust me when I say that it is unlike anything that I have ever done before. It will easily be about two hours long Long because there's a lot to cover, including the Burning Sun scandal, which terrifies me to cover. I've never been more scared to talk about anything in my entire life. I mean, y'all get ready for my cancellation because it's coming. I had 14 pages of research done recently that all got deleted when my computer froze, so I got real upset about that. But that's a setback on the video, however... The video is going to be huge. I can't explain how in-depth this stuff is. It's taking a lot out of me to research and cover with my college schedule, but I am trying my absolute best to get it done in a timely manner. So if the shorter videos that I'll be posting aren't your thing, don't worry. I do have something big that I'm already super proud of coming soon. I want the video to be well done and well edited and to be an unbiased look at all the angles of YG Entertainment. We're going to be looking at almost every Every single artist that has walked through their doors and how they were managed and the business models that went into it. We're going to look at a lot of scandals and study every aspect of YG life from trainee days to debut. It's a history of video, but it's also almost a case study of the company. I'm really excited to finish it, but that is still a while away from being finished, so do give me some time on that one. I'm not going to set an exact date for my next video, but it will probably be within the week. You can check my community 
community tab for updates or follow me on Twitter or Instagram, which I will leave in the description as well. Finally, before I end the video, I want to take the time to thank all of you. Genuinely, you have no idea just how much the nice comments you left on my community tab meant to me. I sat and cried for a while when I read those, and it was gross. I mean, that's embarrassing. Crying over your K-pop YouTube comments alone in your bedroom at 4am, that's weird. Normal 20 year olds are getting drunk or something, or going on dates, I don't know, what do 20 year olds do? Not this, that's for sure, not this, but seriously, thank you guys for all your support and for being so patient with me and dealing with me during this. There are a lot of channels out there on YouTube and I don't know if my content is something that's worth waiting on, but I'm glad so many of you think so and have subscribed to me and messaged me and trusted me with your own personal stories. My DMs are always open and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.